sewer? Oh god. <laughs> hey everyone and welcome. I am Sailor Drew. Let's hang out and play some Witchwood. Alright, so we're going to go collect the last soul, hopefully. The bear in the forest is the last like quest that we know of. Um, there's still a lot in our grimoire that we have not unlocked yet, so even though this will be the last soul, I don't think that that's going to be where the game ends, just based off of like how much room is still left in there. I know that some of you were saying that in the comments, like, I hope it's not going to be over soon, and I agree, because this world is so wacky and I love it. Hey, where do you think you're going? Dingus, huh? Oh no. Dongus? <laughs> Yeah, no one but us soldiers are allowed inside the lake shore camp. Get out of my way. I have urgent news of your quartermaster. I need to speak with your sergeant. Urgent? Only... <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, wait, is he trying to cuss or like what's happening right now? Only thing that's urgent is the line for the latrine. Or if the captain hasn't had his drink. That's right. Captain Bear's in a right foul mood. You can't come in unless you want a good thrashing. The guard almost has to shout over the clattering din coming from inside the camp. You heard him. It's dangerous in there. Wouldn't have the heart to let a frail old granny like you near the beast. One guard turns to the other with a conspiratorial shrug. <laughs> yeah, but who are we to say what's good for our elf? Oh, yeah, you're right. We might be convinced to uh, look the other way if we was fairly compensated. Right, fairly compensated, of course. We'd be sticking our necks out, after all. Uh, oh, okay, it's a good thing we've got the money. You carefully press three heavy gold coins into the palm of the waiting guard. There, I expect you two can divide them evenly amongst yourselves. Right, one for you and two for me. What? You mean two for me and one for you? I'm the one who does all the real guarding around here. Oh, yeah, I noticed last time too, like it swapped to which portrait was like talking. It's not like it matters, I suppose. You stole me for that game of dice you lost. You cheated me. Give me them coins. The two guards fall into fisticuffs and roll into the bushes, leaving the gate to the camp wide open. Alright, good riddance. Oh my. Uh. Oh, he's an actual bear. Okay, well, I don't know why that surprises me. Considering that, um. Everything that we've seen thus far has, like, actually been, <laughs> like, a leech and a snake and so on and so forth. <laughs> Just like, I don't know why, I thought it was a, a nickname. Okay, so maybe these are all his victims. As you cautiously, cautiously approach, the bear drains the last of his enormous tankard and smashes it against the head of a nearby soldier, knocking the hapless man to the ground. Then I walloped him just like that. So next time I catch any of you cowards turning tail, I'll skewer you like a fish and leave your guts for the gulls. Suddenly noticing that his drink has gone dry, the bear bellows to the skies. More mead, you yellow-bellied worms! More drink! Bring me my delicious honey mead! Oh god, uh, which is what that guy spilled all over the roadside. The soldiers are taking cover nearby exchange nervous glances at the at each other, none wanting to confront the bear. There is no more honey mead. The bear wipes a strand of drool from his sagging lips and his bleary eyes slowly focus on you. A mocking smirk splits his face as he waves at you with his giant spiked mace. Say, now that's a funny looking helmet, soldier. I ever tell you the time I crushed the bucket headed barbarians of the western mountains? You decide that now is a good time to leave the bear to his ramblings rather than make yourself an unfortunate prop for his war stories. The bear kicks an empty tankard at you as you retreat back into the camp. That's right, go give me more mead, you good for nothing slaggard. Okay. Uh, take cover. <laughs> right. The frantic-looking officer shouts hurried orders at whoever will listen, but most of the camp soldiers are busy cowering or knocked out cold. 
Matt McGates, you over there, secure the perimeter. We just need to hold out a little longer. Sir, we're running out of men. Where's that damn shipment of honey? You step over an unconscious footman to address the man in charge. Am I to be able to answer that question? Who the... Who let this old bat into the camp? I found your quartermaster. He's having a bit of cart trouble on the road. I'm afraid your shipment isn't going to get here anytime soon. What? Oh, curse my rusty breeches. Without that honey the other, and the other supplies, we can't make the honey bean. The bear's gonna flatten the whole camp when he finds out. The camp looks half flattened already. What's all this ruckus about? Well, the bear is the greatest warrior there ever was, which is grand and all when we're fighting the enemy. But once we set up camp, he likes to use his poor, uh, us poor sods as playthings to reenact his conquests. And the only thing the bear loves as much as fighting is drinking. Guzzles up so much honey mead, we have to brew it right here in the camp just to keep up. He points to the squat-looking device tucked near some tents. A portable brewery. Or a bearery, maybe. <laughs> Without the sh that shipment of ingredients, I don't see how we can ever calm the bear down. He'll smash us all into pace before the sun sets. Let me take a look at this brewery of yours. If the br bear is so, uh, is so in love with brawling and boozing, then perhaps it's about time he received a dose of his own medicine. All right. So let's see what we need. You inspect the brass contraption. A tank here, a hopper there. The bitter smell of alcohol is infused into the well-worn metal. Despite the needlessly complicated dials and tubing, at the end of the day, the brewery is really just a fancy cauldron. This seems simple enough. I should be able to concoct just the potion for your troubles. The red old sergeant shrugs his shoulders at you. Sure, if you think it'll help, but you'll have to, uh, you'll need to fuel the darn things first. Our supplies are a mess, so you'll have to figure it out on your own. Oh, so it might need, um, okay. So twigs, we've definitely got those. So we need to make, what, eight? Uh, no, five jars of water and a cinder box. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, okay, so easy enough. It's a good thing I still had some more fireflies left over. And then uh, we need, like, handful of empty jars um so can i like i don't know get water like somewhere over here or am i gonna have to like go like all the way back somewhere uh so let's loot this oh god that looks like a <laughs> a bear skin rug almost like and so does this like uh <laughs> you can't go in here there it's the bear's tent Okay, so got water from the well. You slosh cool, clear water into the brewery's main tank. Not the best base for potion, potion brewing, but you want to preserve that honey mead flavor. Okay. And cinder box. Okay. With the heat of the cinder box, you set the stove chamber of the brewery alight. It will bring the tank to a rolling boil. With a hiss of steam and the the sound of boiling water, the rattling brewery is ready for the next step in the process. Of course, I'll need honey for the mead. The quartermaster said he was coming back from the apiary in the field, so we best try there. Then I'll need a proper magical binder and a token of the bear to seal the spell. Something in this camp ought to do the trick. Frothing basin of the brewery stands ready for the right ingredients, so we need honey, Metamorphosis elixir. Oh, and a torn teddy bear. Oh. Oh, look, that uh, guy is gone. Okay, so let's steal in here really quick. Through the open tent flap, you catch a glimpse of pillage trinkets and treasures scattered about the spacious interior. You surmise that one of these precious objects might contain enough magical essence to use as a token of the bear. Your eyes have only a moment to linger upon the giant fur-lined uh, bed before a hand pulls the door flap shut. The sergeant gives you a disapproving glare as he ushers you away. 
Hey, you can't go in there. This is the bear's personal tent. You know, uh, you know the kind of hell that would break loose if he finds out someone's been snooping? Don't worry, I'll be careful. It seems like your men are keeping him distracted anyway. You glance over at the bear as he tosses aside a soldier like a sack of potatoes. No way, no how. If you think this is bad, just wait until he finds how oh, there's no more honey mead. Hmm. If you're so afraid of that stomping brute, why don't you just slip away into the night? Surely it would prolong your life a little. And I've been in all my friends. We soldiers gotta stick together. It's our only chance. If we, if only there was some way to stand up to the bear. A thought seems to cross the sergeant's mind as he notices the potions and baubles hanging at your belt. Say, you're good with magical doodads and what's its right? What if you made me some sort of protective charm or talisman? Then I could maybe have a chance against that monster without getting my head uh, stoved in. If I make you a protective talisman, will you let me into this tent? I suppose I wouldn't have much to worry about if you did. Okay, so protective talisman. Let's, wow, oh, I did not notice. Uh, that is, that is, that's jiving, all right? Like, <laughs> it's ready to go. Okay, so let's take a look at our grimoire. And so we got a few new things that we need to make. Oh, so we need to make a wicked gemstone. I'm taking it. This is for the talisman because it's a redstone. Okay, and then a magic paste. Okay. All right. Got your talisman right here. Here, this ought to shield you from harm for a time. He grins nervously as he puts the charm around his neck. Then he clobbers himself in the face with his own fist. What? Wow, you are kidding. <laughs> though, uh, though that's nowhere near the kind of punishment the bear can dish out. Better find some more stuff to test it out with. Then I'll give that bear a piece of my mind. He stumbles off into the camp to find other objects to try against his newfound protection, leaving the bear's tent unattended. All right, so let's pop back in. Ooh, morsel. Okay, teddy bear. Uh, I wanted to read what that said, actually. Uh, nothing. <laughs> I just wanted to see if, like, there was anything else interesting. There's some weird, like, figure back there. Um, alright, how do we get out of here? Okay, so we have the teddy bear. So, uh, would it be, like, under ingredients or something? A ragged toy bear, well loved and well beyond its prime. Okay, so we gotta go to the fields to go get our honey. Wait, so to the apiary. Okay. Oh, hello there. Hi de ho! I'm afraid we're closed for the season. Closed? But I need some of your honey right away. Sorry, our supply was cleaned out just a little while ago. Funny little man with a cart, you just missed him. Yes, I've met with him. He is a quartermaster for the bear, but he had a bit of an accident on the road. I need to collect some more honey for the lakeshore camp. The bear? Well, that explains why the quartermaster purchased so dang much. I heard that that lumbering bully would steal the nectar from a larva if it suit him. The poor bees have already worked themselves half to death for that order. They don't have any honey left. I wish I could do something to help you. But the only honey left in the entire apiary is Her Majesty's personal reserve. Her Majesty? Why, my sweet spring flower, the jewel of my crown, the golden sun of my... Yes, yes, go on, get on with it. My beloved queen, she is as lovely as she is wise and resides over her flowered kingdom. A shrill voice pierces the meadow and sends chills down your spine. Oh, look at her. <laughs> Slay, the where is my dinner? I ordered you to bring me the finest sunflowers. R right away, my love. <laughs> and make it pretty this time. I don't want another one of your dandelion bouquets like some common wasps. Y yes, my sweet. Hmm, <laughs> I think I'd better have an audience with this queen myself. Okay. Where, where is thine queen. Oh, look at these guys. Uh, they look a little dangerous. 
So let's use our witch's eye to take a look. B, generally well-mannered, but can be quite hostile when it's irritated. Okay. Uh, tidy hives full of bees, completely devoid of honey. Oh, I see a petal over here. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, the regal insect looks down on her, uh, down her curled nose at you scornfully. That fool beekeeper is supposed to be, uh, supposed to stop the rabble from traveling my delicate garden. Good help is so hard to find, isn't it? And I suppose you've come to lend a hand? No, I don't think so. What do you want, little beetle? You seem like a very busy woman, so I won't waste your time. I need honey, your best honey. She tilts her long neck back and lets out a buzzing laugh. <laughs> So you think I simply give my carefully cultivated riches to just any commoner? Do you have any idea how much time and energy is spent managing this colony? Everyone ha always wants something, but no one ever wants to work for it. In a rustle of petals, the beekeeper comes running over, holding out an assortment of beautiful prairie flowers. My darling sweet... Sweetheart, I offer you the finest meadow flowers. I hope you find these to your liking. Is this... Is this marigold? You wax spring fool. You know I despise this stuff. How many times must I repeat myself? Get out of my sight, all of you. My love, I have wronged you. L let me try again. You follow the beekeeper a short distance... Oh, as distance away, but he busies himself picking more flowers. She seems to be in a foul mood. Does she always treat you like this? Well, yes, but it's really usually my own fault. Sometimes when she gets, uh, really gets her venom up, a little bit of smoke and soothing herbs calms her right down. Smoke, you say? I'm sure I could come up with something to even out her mood. A royal incense recipe. Oh, look how pretty it looks. Okay. So let's see, there's probably like a few flower petals in this meadow here. I know that there was also that like one up there. I don't know if I could like capture these guys. Yeah, no. Uh, Alright, so let's take a look at what we need for it. Okay, so we need a smoke pellet, witch, spice, and sporification. It's a good thing I got extra water like it always just seems like I need like a ton of water jars for a lot of this crafting okay oh whoops uh oops uh again <laughs> all right there we go royal incense okay so I guess we need to go over and use it next door oh god <laughs> <laughs> That's a girl. You sneak. Do you honestly believe that your little puff achoo, smoke can? The queen fans herself lightly as the world begins to push and pull around her. Whew. Does anyone else feel a little hot? Anyways, as I was saying, you can't just, just. The sparkling sun bears down on the queen like a warm summer's embrace. My, look at all these beautiful colors. Have they always been so bright? <laughs> the queen bee stretches her arms across the sea of flowers, brushing the tips of their petals gleefully. She arcs her limbs through the myriad of colors swirling above her head. It's gorgeous! Oh, oh, and what's that delicious smell? Uh, cracking into the waxen walls of her hive, the queen pulls out a golden honeycomb. She proceeds to messily stuff the honey into her face. Crumbling, delectable. Oh, it's so good. You simply have to try some, my dear. I've never tasted anything so delicious in my life. She offers up a sticky handful to you. Why, thank you, my queen. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Glad she's a lot more amicable. <laughs> Alright, so let's head back to the bear. Beekeeper has concerned himself with a floral arrangement. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, uh, let's take a look at what else we need. So, metamorphosis elixir. Careful you don't mix the two parts together or there's no tell what will change. Okay, so we've got like the changeling parts and those apples from like the, the dryads. 
uh, let's see here, glitter bomb. <laughs> Might stun someone momentarily, but its long lasting effects is purely cosmetic. Oh, okay, so we actually finally get to use like the suit sprites. I think that was everything. Um, let's take a look. So, uh, honey, as you squeeze the honey uh, honeycomb with your bare hands, thick, rich honey slowly oozes into the brewery's tank. Too sweet for your tastes, but then again, uh, but then this potion is not for you. Okay, and then the torn teddy bear. You pause before dropping the tattered plaything into the brewery. A glint in its button eye reminds you of something, but the thought soon evaporates from your mind. You overturn your palm, and the stuffed bear splashes down into the concoction. It floats sadly for a moment before becoming waterlogged and disappearing under the surface. Oh. You ladle out a good portion of the writhing, tar-like substance into the brewery. To be safe, you add a little bit more just for texture. Okay. Uh, before long, the waggling fingers of the gauges and dials settle down, indicating that the brew is complete. You give a quick sniff test and recoil at the sickingly sweet vapors. You push an empty wooden uh, you push an empty wooden keg under the contraption spigot and crank the release valve. The brewery strains under the pressure and fills the keg with chunky <laughs> oozing fluid. Why is it chunky? <laughs> May not be the finest honey meat around, but hopefully that great raging galoot won't stop to notice the difference. Okay. The brewery wheezes in defeat. You doubt it will ever make meat again. <laughs> Take the keg. All right. Let's go ahead and give this guy his drink. Okay. Uh, where was I? Oh, right. So I pulled my sword and out from his chest and oh, jeez. Okay. Ah, Captain, I've brought you more honey mead. The bear swipes up the tankard with his massive paw and tosses the contents into his slavering maw without hesitation. He licks his chops, savoring the peculiar flavor. With a sudden jerk, he bears down on you with suspicion. Say, this tastes kind of funny. What did you do, soldier? It's an, uh, a new recipe. I thought you might enjoy something with a little more sting in it. Rah, you know I hate new things. I'll teach you to mess with my favorite brew, you hayseed. The bear is upon you with frightening speed. He raises the huge mace in his paw skyward and you brace for the impact. With an equal measure of speed, the sergeant leaps between the crashing mace and your head. You peer through your fingers as a great clang resounds through the camp. The bear roars furiously as his blow is magically repair repelled from the sergeant's talisman. The mace goes spinning out of his paw and falls into the lake with a great splash. He gapes, dumbfounded, as the sergeant stands before him completely unharmed. Ha! That'll teach you to pick on us, you big oaf. This has been a long time coming. The sergeant wags his finger at the bear. Who do you think you are, huh? You think you're so big and tough with your fancy feather hat and your big honking club? Well, look at you now. The camp soldiers gather to witness in stunned awe. Miraculously, the bear seems to shrink in the face of the sergeant's onslaught. If it was up to me, you'd be dishonorably discharged for disorderly conduct. You're a disgrace to the uniform. You're no captain of mine. With fear welling up in his eyes, the bear shrinks and shrinks until he is reduced to the size of a small cat. And another thing, I, uh, wh what is happening? <laughs> oh. In place of the bear's drunken grimace is the stitched smile of a doll's grin. Two button eyes stare back at the disapproving faces surrounding the little plush toy. The sergeant takes a step back to reveal the small shape of the stuffed teddy bear where the brute once stood. Your transformative potion has finally done its work. Gee, I, I guess I overdid it? He scratches his head in befuddlement but seems genuinely relieved. Hey, Sarge, I guess that means you're in charge now, right? Oh, yeah, I guess it does. Well, what are y'all standing around for? The camp's a mess. Let's get to work. All right, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you pick up the diminutive doll and brush some sand out of its fur. The 
since you inspect it further, its head lulls to face you. Far within the glassy surface of its button eyes, you can barely make out a tiny crimson flame, the trapped soul of the bear. This ought to be what that old goat is after. I hope he's happy. Excellent. Okay, yeah. So that chapter is complete now. The souls of the bear, leech, snake, and ox jostle in your satchel with fearful energies. That's the, that then. I better get these back home to the goat before he ransacks the rest of the place. Excellent. Okay. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a quick one, um, but we kind of like ran all over the place. So I definitely do think that there is still a lot more to uncover as there are three more. Um, what a relief. The bear has gotten it. We can all rest easy. Uh, there are also like three or four more portals like in that like kind of portal hub that we have yet to unlock as well so i definitely think there's more to uncover i'm very excited to see what the goat says also if you've been watching my honey i joined a cult series and wondering uh, why i haven't updated it um they did an update with the game and my save file is no longer good for it so um which is a risk you run whenever you play early access games so i'm I need to like get my game like redo the game and get it back up to where I was at basically uh, so if you're still interested in watching that let me know in the comments down below because I'm always curious to see what you guys uh, what series resonate with you and which ones you want me to continue and stuff um so I figure maybe like we might finish oh buddy <laughs> Uh, we may or may not finish this one first before I pick that one up. I don't think there was much left for us to do in that one either. So it's, it's a shame that I have to start over. But, but I'll do it for you guys. <laughs> but until next time, take care and I will see you in the next episode.